Welcome back to Switch to Linux. We have a little bit of a different video today because what we're gonna do is, uh, I had somebody ask, how can you watch your alternative media programs on a television? Of course, YouTube is losing its ever-loving mind, and so some people are starting to look at some of the alternatives. Of course, I cross-post my videos on both my Christian channel and on my Linux channel over to BitChute. And as it turns out, there is an alpha plugin for BitChute. It's not in the repositories yet, but you can experiment with it. So first let's go ahead and talk about my setup here. I have an old dumb TV. It's just a Sanyo 720p television here. And uh, I promise it was state of the art in the day when I got it, but uh, that was a long time ago. And it is completely dumb, no internet connections. So sitting on the stand on the back of the television, we have a Raspberry Pi 2B. Raspberry Pi 2B is running Open Source Media Center. Now there are three of these systems you can run. Open Source Media Center, Libre Elect, and um, Open Elect. So those are the three different media centers that you can use. Now once you have your media center set up, you can connect and control it with a free app available on F-Droid. So all you privacy guys are gonna be happy about that. So I'll be holding my smartphone here. It's not notes, it's actually my remote control. Now my Kodi setup, there's no actual data on the device itself. All of that feeds through a central NAS server and I have some Cat5 uh, Cat wiring going across the, the network up feeding into my global NAS where I can pull in videos, I can pull in movies, music, uh, just a variety of different things, including photos. I'm not sure I have this set up for photos, but uh, it is definitely a possible thing. Now this theme that I'm using here is called Transparency, and I have it themed up in the natural uh, National Park themes. So we have uh, some Grand Canyon, we have some arches, we have some Badlands, and uh, I, I should throw in some from some of the other places as well. But what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and configure your uh, your Kodi box in order to use uh, BitChute specifically. So to do this, one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into our settings. And inside of our settings, you want to go ahead and change your add-on settings. And uh, you need to be able to um, you need to be able to install a add-on from a zip file because this is not yet in the repositories. Now, if you attempt to install something from a zip file and we do not have the install from unknown source option enabled, it's going to give us a prompt to go and do that. So you can see here it says for security, installation of add-ons from unknown sources is disabled. So if you hit the settings button here, this is going to load up the settings and we can just toggle this guy on. It does give us a warning. Make sure that you're not uploading just anything and everything you see. But in all of my testing, this particular uh, add-on does actually work very well. So with that, let's go ahead and back up, hit install from a zip file. And all I do is I just download it. So I'll go ahead and have the link for there on the GitHub page. Just download the whole, whole file, the whole zip file, and then just throw it somewhere on your NAS where you can get to it easy. For me, I can get to it easy on this Christian uh, video folder because there's not a lot of things in there. So I go ahead and hit this button. Now, I have, already, um, I have already installed this just as a basic test. So uh, if I hadn't, it's just gonna go ahead and give us the, the progress, the install. All right, so the next thing we have to do is we actually have to sign in. My guess is it's actually going to, um, it's actually already going to be uh, set up. So just go ahead and get to your individual video add-ons. Here you can get to it in the settings add-ons menu. I can also get to it on this particular theme. If I go back to my main home screen, I can go to movies, click over, and now I have a video add-ons option down there as well. So go ahead and hit your bit shoot alpha. Now you might have to go in and change your settings. Uh, the system will not work without being logged into your, uh, into your BitChute account. And uh, so as long as those you are logged in, just go into the settings, go ahead and log into your BitChute account. I've already done that over here, so now we have four tabs. Subscription activity gives you a chronological readout of all of the videos that the people you've subscribed to 
have published. So no algorithms, just a chronological order. Watch later is anything you've tagged on the platform on the desktop as watch later. So you can go ahead into your, uh, into the desktop, hit tag, 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 tag. You know that you got, you know, a couple hours to sit in front of the TV tonight watching some bit shoot. You can go ahead and put all those into the watch later, click on this folder. All of those are going to appear in that list. So you can kind of pre-plan what you want to watch from your computer. There is the playlists, if you've created any playlists on BitChute, and then your subscriptions is the one I go to the most. This will give us a list of all of the people we are subscribed to, and then very much like the subscription activity, it will just give us the videos in chronological order that those individuals have released. So here, here is, for example, that crazy channel called Switched to Linux. So just go ahead and click on that, and then you're gonna go ahead and uh, get a listing of it. And it is a little bit slow, don't worry about it. I've never actually seen videos stutter or fail to stream, but I have actually seen that it's a little slow to get there. But I'd rather wait a few seconds to get there than have to worry about buffering throughout. So now we can go down here. Here's like Linux Mint gets Chrome, Google's new VPN, you know, Raspberry Pi uh, VPN with Pi Hole. This is my latest tutorial, how to create a Raspberry Pi uh, based uh, VPN that connects with uh, Pi Hole. And I'm gonna wanna grab my remote here and I'm gonna wanna mute my sound when this turns on, if I can remember where the mute button is on this silly thing. And maybe I'll just turn the volume down. So there you go. Now we are playing. Whoa, turn down. Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Okay. Well, today we want to talk a little bit about the so, some of the things I will point out. Um, I do always get the little uh, magnetic seed error at the top. That's no big deal. I've never had the thing not play. If you're getting to the point where the videos are not playing, it's probably because your Kodi box is, out, is not up to date. So go ahead and push all of those updates if you can. Uh, it also does not necessarily feed the... Uh, data. It's not feeding the data in HD. It's not feeding it in 720p. It almost looks like it might be like 480 or something. So the quality is not particularly there yet, but this is an alpha build. And the fact that we can still watch an alternative based channel on an alpha build on a television, on a dumb television, no doubt, with a Raspberry Pi, this is an incredible thing. And so this is actually the, the best methodology you can do. Now, I do have the separate videos about how to build Open Source Media Center or, or some one of the Kodi boxes. I don't remember if I did the video with Open Source Media Center with Open Elec or with Libre Elec. Uh, but I have those and they're probably due for a refresh. So I'll go ahead and refresh those videos sometime soon. But in the meantime, you can go ahead and check the description uh, for the link to the BitChute Alpha page. Go ahead and give that a test. And if you notice any bugs, definitely get those back to the developers as they're working on this. And maybe sometime soon, this will actually appear in the repositories so we can download it and install it more easily. So there we have it. We're just gonna go ahead and hit stop now and uh, we will wrap up the video here. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know your thoughts and your comments. If you wanna get to either of my channels, we are uh, BitChute at Switch to Linux or BitChute at our walking Christ over there. So thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy Switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.